What up, world? What up, me? This is Dre Wise coming at like this. Dre Wise topics. Now, this topic I post on my Facebook page, talking about uh, as a topic, talking about teenagers, teenage pregnancy, and teenage pregnancy. You do not get the reward. You know, there's no reward of being a teenage parent at all. So this topic is for the teenagers, and how I'm going to say it is basically true and all honesty and all real. Okay, these teenagers today still do, going on with the same cycle, you know, of their parents when they was your age, you know, and became a teenage parent. You know, between 14 to 18 and 19, still considered a teenager. You know, my thing is this, which is it's true. In your mind, as a teenager, you're not ready to become a parent and not ready to take on a task of taking care of someone else or as raising that particular being as a child when that child gives up an age to adult, you're not ready. Mentally, you're not ready. I don't care how many times you say that you're ready, but you're not ready, you know? Because when you get pregnant, or when some teenage boy becomes a father, and that reality hits you, you know, every time you come back and forth, back and forth home from school, you gotta deal with reality of raising that child and feeding that child and watching that child, and you know you got homework and things like that. So you're not getting no reward out of being a teenage parent. You're not getting no reward, you know? But what you is gaining is a headache and aggravation and stress, something that you're not ready to take on a task like this, you know? So you're not ready to be a parent. At a young age, you know, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and even 19. You're not ready. Your mind is not ready, you know. So you're not mature enough in that area to take on a task far as raising another human life, you know. So that's why I look at it like this. That's why I got products out there far as condoms and stuff like that. And you go to the doctor's office and schedule an appointment for um, birth control. Get on some type of birth control. It's out there for a reason because they know you're going to do these things, you know? So, mama and daddy, whoever cares about you, they'll tell you these things, you know what I'm saying? To save you from that aggravation, save you from that stress, save you from that responsibility of taking on a task of raising a life, you know? So... And that's why teenagers drop out of school, drop out of high school or whatever. You know, because you sat around with some uh, teenage boy or, or whatever, and you didn't have nobody to watch your baby while you was in school or whatever, or while you try to work some part-time part -time job or things like that. So you don't get no reward out of that, you know what I'm saying? You don't. But like I said, you're only gaining a headache and an aggravation and stress and responsibility that you're not ready for. That your mind is not developing that in that area to raise a child, you know? So that's why things, like I said, things that's out there for you to take up if you want to have sex, you got to do it the right way. Protect yourself. Prevent these things far as uh, becoming pregnant and catching some disease and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You're not gaining no reward of becoming a teenage parent. No. Because I let you in on something. I became a teenage parent myself at the age of 15 and a half. And I did not gain nothing at all. I did not gain nothing. Only thing I gained was a responsibility that I was not ready for, 
you know, aggravation and everything. Because I couldn't do what I want to do, you know. Because in the back of my mind, I knew I had, a, I had a life that I had to help take care of, be a co-parent and stuff like that, you know. So, as I'm saying, teenage pregnancy and you're not getting no reward out of it being a teenage parent, male or female. You're not, you know what I'm saying. Regardless how many times you can tell yourself, I'm ready, I'm ready to have a child. Reality, you're not ready to become a parent at a young age. In your teens, you're not ready. Even in your early 20s, you're not ready. You know what I'm saying? So, that's that. So, I want to do this video for the teenagers that's out there not thinking on this stuff. And not even pondering on it, like saying this, like I'm not ready to become a teen parent. I know I want to have sex with things like that. But... I must do it the right way. Go out to a store or whatever store that sells condoms. Do not be ashamed. Do not be embarrassed. You know, when that cashier sees you with that box of condoms, he could think or she could think however she want about you. But at the end of the day, that cashier would say, you are a smart young man or a young woman to take up this thing as far as condoms or birth control or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or if you go to the, a doctor's office, schedule an appointment, and you ask the doctor, I would like to be on birth control. You know, the doctor will not look at you like a whore or, or you just mess around, act stupid. The doctor will say you are smart. And you have you take it on you doing it a responsible way to prevent these things as far as teenage pregnancy. You know, this is true and this is real. You know what I'm saying? Not to be fake about it. Cause it's that's why teen pregnancy is so high today. You know what I'm saying? Cause these teenagers do not want to take up these things that's the product that's out there. In the world today, they sell condoms at what, Rite Aid, CVS, uh, some convenience store, some gas station, Walmart, Target, uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's out there. You know what I'm saying? Take up these things. You know? So, the limit and to minimize that type of responsibility, do the right thing. Think first before you act. I don't care how good looking this boy is or how fine this female is at a teenage age. You must, you must, you must put something on. You must, you must have something to prevent these things. If that teenager says otherwise, like do not use a condom or things like that, leave that person alone. Leave him alone. Leave he or she alone that says these things. So that's that. This is for the teenagers. You know, Dre Watts Topics. You know, the topic is, and the topic was, teenage pregnancy. And you do not get the reward out of being a teenage parent <clears throat> at all. So um, you could express your, your opinion in a, a, a comment, you know what I'm saying, like, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? This is all about opinion. You know, this is what I think, you know. So, this is for the teenagers. The topic is for the teenagers. You know, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, even 19. This is for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Realest words. This is all 100. You know what I'm saying? All 100. You know? So... Dre Wise Topics, peace.